Mega Summer Sale is here. Get 35 AAA games like Spider Man series, Horizon series, Need for Speed series, and many many more at very cheap rate. If you are interested, comment down below or join the Discord server and come to the particular channel called Cheap Games Shop. Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another RDR2 Visa 3 update video. Uh, today we're trying the Steam version of RDR2, which is uh, the update 1491.50. So the previous uh, version of the mod was uh, incompatible with this uh, new Steam update. So now I have updated the mod and I will show you everything like which steps you need to follow and uh, everything so ms afterburner is compatible with this msi hooking overlay activation so if you don't know uh, just comment down below i will show you the steps and uh, yeah right now i have not activated the mod and right now i am playing it on 1080p with uh, every other setting is a mixture of high and medium uh, with some set on ultra also also uh, i will sh tell you the steps which you need to do beforehand uh, before pasting the mod like uh, if you are on vulkan api you need to switch to directx like if you go to the advanced setting and by default it will be locked i think so you need to unlock it and set the api to uh, directx 12 so after that uh, you will need to go to up here and if you have any kind of uh, upscaler activated like dlss fsr uh, disable that too because uh, if you activate any kind of DLSS, the game will be black screen. So yeah, uh, don't activate any kind of uh, upscaler. Just use TAA based on your preference, low, medium, high. Uh, so I'm just going to set it on high with FXAA on. Uh, don't activate it MSA and uh, rest of the setting is up to you. But uh, do not activate the V-Sync and uh, triple buffering. Where is that triple buffering? So yeah, this is the setting you need to do beforehand uh, before testing the mods. So right now with these settings, I'm getting around uh, 50 to 60 FPS. The visibility is a little low due to the snow and blizzard. You know, the first mission of the RDR2, it is very low visibility. But uh, yeah, we're not here for the gameplay. We're here for the FPS boost and mod. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so you will need this zip RDR2 Steam FSR 3 update 1491.50. So we're gonna extract it to the desktop. Now this mod uh, can be applied to both version, the Steam legit version and the other version too. Uh, in the other version, what you need to do, I will show you a little bit, but you can just follow the previous video guide. Uh, but if you don't want to, you can just watch this video. Uh, I will show, I will tell you uh, one to two steps, which you can do to make the mod work in the other versions. So yeah, we're gonna go to the installation directory of the RDR2 Steam, which is uh, here for me, Steam Apps, common, RDR2. So we're gonna paste this uh, zip file here. Now after pasting, uh, we're gonna go to the mods folder and then I will uh, we will see RDR2 upscaler. So we need to select it and then right click on it and open it with notepad. Now after opening with notepad, uh, you can see some upscaler here. So previously we were using the uh, FSR 3, but now we need to use the FSR 2. So in this update, the FSR 2 is working. So we need to use the FSR 2. So FSR 2 is corresponding to the number uh, 1, I think. Yeah. So uh, if you are, this number is anything wrong or anything, you just need to delete it. Uh, if this number is anything uh, but rather than 1, you need to delete that and type it 1. Like 0 is for DLSS, 1 is for FSR, 2. 2 is for XCSS and 3 is for upscaling. Now for the other versions, you guys just need to uh, use this, uh, use the 3 here, like FSR 3 upscaling. And you have to make sure that you are on uh, 1436.28 version, not below, not above. Actually, the other version is not above. Uh, so uh, other version is limited to 1436.28. So yeah, you need to use the three on other version, but for Steam users, you just need to uh, use one here. So now we're gonna file and save. And uh, if you have an RTX card, you can also use the DLSS. Uh, but if you have an AMD or GTX card, you need to use the one. So I'm using the one, so just I can show you like uh, everything. Uh, now we're just gonna run the game and see how much more FPS we're getting.
Okay, we are uh, back in the game and as you guys can see that PS has now boosted from 50, 55 to uh, 9800. So this uh, will be applicable for all graphics card like AMD, uh, GTX and RTX. Uh, yeah. So um, now you can see that uh, PS is boosting and there is no hood flicker or jitter or every, anything. And there is also no ghosty but for some uh, wide screen ultra wide uh, users ultra wide screen users they have uh, reported that there is some ghosting around arthur while moving the camera at very high speed but uh, that's not the case here so if you uh, have liked this video uh, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, uh, you can comment down below if you face any kind of issue but uh, this is a very simple mod i don't think you have any kind of issue if you are uh, using an steam uh, version of rdr2 but if you have the other version uh, do that uh, which i showed you in the text file like just uh, use the fsr3 code uh, which is uh, 3 i think uh, for the <coughs> fsr3 upscaler so yeah just use that and in game use dlss you will be good to go for the other version and yeah legit version do this uh, press uh, select uh, like type 1 and uh, follow the rest of the videos step so yeah uh, this will be it uh, i will now see you guys in the next one until then uh, cheers and have a happy gaming